Greetings, my brothers. This is Sean Blazington, and tonight I give you the sick and twisted truth about Kawhi Leonard. You all know that he is very strange, but I'm going to tell you how strange he really is. He's not the only sideshow freak in the NBA. There was many before him, and there will be many after, like Ron Artest, Dennis Rodman. There is a killer clown in the NBA that none of you even know about. Kawhi Leonard doesn't say much with his mouth, but he likes to speak with his hands. And that's not the only reason why he received the infamous nickname, The Claw. Every Spurs legend passed down the art of successful boringness to future superstars. Tim Duncan received this art from David Robinson, and Kawhi Leonard received this art from Tim Duncan. And in the future, Kawhi Leonard will pass this art down to the next superstar to play for the Spurs. Successful boringness isn't the only art that was passed down to these superstars for generations. There is also something more sinister and sugary that has been passed down from Tim Duncan to Kawhi. Tim was also a very quiet player on the basketball court, but he lived a double life that no one knew about. His ex-wife told tabloids that Tim Duncan likes to get jiggy with it, and he also prefers homies over hoes. Although no one took her claim seriously, she did raise some eyebrows with those statements. And Tim Duncan never had any major endorsement deals except for his business relationship with Fruit Roll-Ups, and that also raised many of eyebrows. It says here that coach, Papa Bitch is losing his temper with Kawhi Leonard because he is becoming very fragile on the basketball court. It says here in my documents that Coach Pop repeatedly tells Kawhi to take your panties out of your ass. Every time he says this, Kawhi Leonard puts his head down and runs to the other side of the court. Kawhi's days in San Antonio is limited because his successful boringness is taking a very strange turn. There has been rumors going around that Kawhi Leonard lives in an apartment with another man, and he drives an old ass SUV. I'm not sure about him living with another man, but I know all about this SUV. It says here in my documentations that Kawhi Leonard only listens to one album in this SUV. It says here that he will not ride in his SUV without a little bit of SWV. It says here that that stands for Sisters with Voices. Kawhi is their biggest fan. He's so much of a fan that he went out and got his nails done just like SWV. And that's how he received the nickname, The Claw. Kawhi isn't the only NBA superstar to get his nails did. There's also Chris Bosh, Ray Allen, Dwayne Wade, just to name a few. But Kawhi took it to another level when he got the nails that swirl like curly fries. Coach Papa Bitch is losing his mind. Tim Duncan retired so he wouldn't take the blame. It says here that Kawhi will not be finishing his career with the Spurs. It also says here that Toronto changed their logo so that one day in the near future, the Claw will come and play for the Toronto Raptors. I have proof and documentations in the form of a audio tape that I'm going to play for you all right now. Hey Kawhi, how are you? Hey, how you doing Tanya? You getting your nails done today? Yeah, I want to get the claws done today. And I also want to get my knees massaged. I've been feeling real weak in the knees. Okay, no problem. Sit down. All right. It smells real good in here. Your nails first or massage first? I'll take the massage first. Okay. Oh, that feels good. You like? Oh. Uh-huh. That feels so good, Tanya. Mm -hmm. I get so weak in the knees. I can hardly speak. I lose all control. Coach Pop keep yelling at me every day. I swallow my pride. Oh, I need this massage. And I love when you rub on my feet. Okay. I can't explain how the spurs make me so weak. Oh wow, that was so good, Kawhi. That was so good. Yeah. That was amazing. Thank you. I had a long day. Um, can you paint my nails pink this time? 